In the advertising community today, there are two worlds. Your world of direct response advertising, and that other world, the world of general advertising. These two worlds are on a collision course. You direct response people know what kind of advertising works and what doesn't work. You know to a dollar. The general advertising people don't know. You know that two-minute commercials on television are more effective, more cost-effective than 10-second commercials or 30-second commercials. You know that fringe time on television sells more than prime time. In print advertising, you know that long copy sells more than short copy. You know that headlines and copy about the product and its benefits sell more than cute headlines and poetic copy, you know to a dollar. The general advertisers and their agencies know almost nothing for sure because they cannot measure the results of their advertising. They worship at the altar of creativity, which really means originality, the most dangerous word in the lexicon of advertising. They opine that 30-second commercials are more cost-effective than two-minute commercials. You know they're wrong. In print advertising, they opine that short commercials sell more than long copy. You know they're wrong. They indulge in entertainment. You know they're wrong. You know to a dollar they don't. Why don't you tell them? Why don't you save them from their follies? For two reasons. First, because you're impressed by the fact that they're so big and so well paid and so well publicized. You're even perhaps impressed by their reputation for creativity, whatever that may mean. Second, you never meet them. You inhabit a different world. The chasm between direct response advertising and general advertising is wide. On your side of the chasm, I see knowledge and reality. On the other side of the chasm, I see ignorance. You are the professionals. This must not go on. I predict that the practitioners of general advertising are going to start learning from your experience. They're going to start picking your brains. I see no reason why the direct response divisions of agencies should be separate from the main agencies. Some of you may remember when television people and agencies were kept separate. Wasn't that idiotic? I expect to see the direct response people become an integral part of all agencies. You have more to teach them than they have to teach you. You have it in your power to rescue the advertising business from its manifold lunacies. When I was 25, I took a correspondence course in direct mail. I bought it out of my own pocket from the Dartnell Corporation in Chicago. Direct response was my first love, and later it became my secret weapon. When I started over in Mayville, New York, nobody had heard of us, but we were airborne within six months and grew at record speed. How did we achieve that? by using my secret weapon, direct mail. Every four weeks, I sent personalized mailings to our new business prospects. And I was always amazed to discover how many of our clients had been attracted to Ogilvy and Mather by those mailings. That was how we grew. Whenever I look at an advertisement in a magazine or a newspaper, I can tell at a glance whether the writer has had any direct response experience. If he writes short copy or literary copy, it is obvious that he has never had the disciplines of writing direct response. If he has had that discipline, he wouldn't make those mistakes. Nobody should be allowed to create general advertising until he has served his apprenticeship in direct response. That experience will keep his feet on the ground for the rest of his life. You know, the trouble with many copywriters in general agencies is that they don't really think in terms of selling. They've never written direct response. They've never tasted blood. Until recently, direct response 
was the Cinderella of the advertising world. Then came the computer and the credit card, and direct marketing exploded. New guys are coming to your own. Your opportunities are colossal. If you want to see an awesome clip from a young Mel Robbins, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. You want to figure out how to take care of uh, the elders and start a new hospice center? You want to move to Africa and build a school?